Uh, it was a big session. Um, it's been a big couple of weeks. Um, Virgo's built it up to this week, and I think next week we've got a bit of a lighter week, um, which is good. Um, so, yeah, today was pretty tough. Um, pretty, there's a lot of competitive stuff going on at the moment, which we all enjoy. Did everyone get through? Was there any worries uh, in Drew Watson? No, I think everyone got through today pretty well. There's been a few head knocks and a few um, blood noses, but that's all pretty easy to get through. Is that a sign of how hard the boys are going? Yeah, um, it is. I think also the way Berger's done it is we've been able to have more match practice, um, which is meant, you know, if we're still working hard, then, then it's more fun for us. Better than just doing running? Definitely a lot better than doing running. Um, yeah, we, we want to, yeah, the more you can train the way you want to play, the, the better you're going to be. What about you, mate? Personally, I mean, with last year you weren't in the side towards the end of the year, and now, unfortunately for Paddy, he's gone. Is this a bit of a blessing in disguise for you? Uh, I don't look at it like that at all. I mean, we're really disappointed for Paddy and Gussie. Um, you know, we're really feeling for them, and I think as a group we've had to um, had to try and move on as much as we can um, in footy sense. Um, we're training as hard as we can, and um, as, as a ruck division, you know, we're, we're looking at um, Charlie doing a bit more and Jacko and Westy doing a bit more, and um, we're just training hard at that. Unfortunately, I mean... Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the you know, the opportunity of, of um of, of spending as much time as I can in there and um and working with those other boys and I think as a group um we're pretty fired up um to achieve what we want to achieve. Has it changed your thinking at all this pre season, given what's happened and what you will face this year? I think internally it probably hasn't changed too much. Um, you know, I was always gonna do the bulk of the rock work. I think it probably changes who I'm working with a lot. Um, as I said, we're, we're really disappointed for the boys, um, but I don't think it's changed too much internally. We, we want to be a group that that doesn't rely on on certain individual players. Um, and when we have injuries, which are always going to come, um, we're going to have to deal with that. I think we're approaching that this the same way as that. Ideally, what, what sort of percentage do you see yourself playing? Eight percent. The time of the run, oh yeah, oh, I'll play what Kenny wants me to play. Yeah. Um, you know, at the moment I've been in there for the last couple of weeks, 100 percent of the time. Okay. You know, which I love doing that. Yeah. Um, um, and I'll go forward when I can as well. And the likely support, do you reckon there'll be Jackson and Westy and yeah, maybe yeah. So Jackson loves getting in there. Yeah, um, okay. Westy loves getting in there and getting his hands on the ball. And, and Charlie's a massive body as well. Who I know from past experience, he can um, ruck pretty well. Yeah, so, you don't want to spend a bit of time forward either, do you? No, nah, not at all. That's something I've always been working on and, and I'll yeah. keep progressing that. We've also got Billy Frampton coming mm-hmm. through and he's done some really good stuff um, up until now and Dougal Howard's um, having a crack in the ruck as well. Have you talked much about, you know, among the players, that's in, you, you're going to have to spend more time on the field basically this year, aren't you, with the rotation cut back? So yeah. The expectation. Yeah. Oh, look, to be honest, we haven't changed too much the way we've trained or the way we've approached it. Um, Burjo, Burjo is pretty strong on the way way he trains, and um, we've worked hard for the last few years, and we're working even harder this year. Um, but I don't think we've specifically looked at, at changing anything radically because of those changes. Okay. You're expecting to add uh, another up into the division if AFL proves is that where we stand at the moment. Yeah, look, I don't know, to be honest, that's probably up to other people to decide. So all I know is what I've got to do at training, you know, um, the way I've got to approach that. So that's probably up to other people to decide. Do you need a massive season lows, given what happened with trade talk and stuff at the end of last year? You've been stealing yourself for a huge year. Yeah, oh, I think I think everyone in the whole AFL at this point of the year are pretty motivated to have a good season. If we weren't all motivated, we wouldn't be here, so... You, you use what you can for motivation, um, and I think as a, as a group we're you know, we're motivated to play consistent, tough footy, um, which we did at the last the last few weeks of the year, and we, we really want to bring that from the start and play that way the whole year. Personally, is your motivation being left out of the side? Uh, I can use that as, as motivation, but of the way I am, I'm motivated every week to improve. You know, every training session, I'm, I'm working on different things, how I can improve my game. Um, and I always keep doing that. That's the way I'm always going to be. You were never really tempted you know, to change clubs, were you? And the club didn't seem to be tempted to want to lose you either. It yeah. seemed very... Yeah, oh, for me it was pretty it was simple. Really I'd, 
yeah, I've never wanted to leave, not for one second did I want to leave. Um, Kenny maintained the whole way through. He wanted me here, so people can say what they want externally, but that's as simple as it was for me. Sure. So when you rock up pre-season day one and all that's kind of done and dusted from last year, is it just a you're feeling of refresh then when you can just come here and go with it? Yeah, I think every day one pre-season you, you're a bit nervous about the 3K up. <laughs> Once you get that out of the way, then then you um, try and get through that first session and then you sort of realise you've got a few big months ahead. So to be honest, it's not too much different for me. Um, we love um, training together as a group. Um, we're all really good mates and I think you know that's the part of pre-season that, that's good. You train as hard as you can and the Arvo's you relax and spend time together and you look forward to starting the season. Have you chatted to Paddy at all? Uh, yeah, I have chatted to him and Gussie. Um, no, I'm, I'm not sure what, what the go is going to be going forward um, with them coming to the club, but we're hoping that you know we can we can do as much as we can for them outside the club, um, support them as mates, and then hoping that they can do some community stuff through the footy club as well. And uh, in the match simulation stuff today, Charlie Dixon seems to have a big presence every day. Um, yeah, it is. He's got a massive presence. It's pretty obvious to see that. Um, he splits packs and he's a big body and. He's good when the ball hits the ground as well, so he's been a good target to kick kick forward to, and I think um, he's going to work well in that forward unit for the team.